Hi everyone, Greeno here, and welcome along to the first video on my brand new channel, Greeno Eats. This is going to be a food review channel. We're going to be looking at all sorts of things. There'll be a bit of home cooking. There'll be some food comparisons, looking at things like the best burger toppings, best flavours of crisps, that sort of thing. I'll be taking some trips out into my local area and beyond, looking at little cafes, restaurants, takeouts, that sort of thing, along with some football stadium food too. So there's going to be a lot of different content. Hopefully there'll be lots here that you will enjoy. Today, the first video, we're going with something simple, something classic. What is the best cheddar cheese sandwich? I've got three options that I'm going to make for you. Let me know in the comments section below whether you agree with my choices, whether you think I've missed anything out, or whether you think this is just the work of a madman. <laughs> it's quite possible when you see the three I've chosen. Let me go into the kitchen and we'll get making those sandwiches to try. Sandwiches ready to make. I'm using the wholemeal bread, a little bit health conscious, and I've only buttered one half of it because we are going to be using some kind of condiments on the other half. Again, keep it a little bit healthier. So, what is sandwich number one? It's a classic cheese and pickle, or closer to a cheese plowman's perhaps. So, what we're going to do here, I have some small chunk pickle here, which I am going to add to the other side of the bread. Fairly generously, I would say. There we go. You want to be able to taste it, that's for sure. And what do we need? Our cheddar. So it's a good, strong, mature cheddar. Sliced in this case. There we go. We plunk that on there. And to accompany this, to make it a cheese plowman sandwich, we need a bit of salad. So we have lettuce here. Bit of cucumber and a couple of slices of tomato. Now I think you'll agree that looks pretty appealing. Sandwich number two. Now this is a bit of a green family classic. I don't know whether people eat it elsewhere or not, <laughs> but we eat it quite a lot in our family. I think it's come down from my grandfather. And this is cheese and beetroot. Okay, so the condiment for this side that we're using this time is salad cream. There we are, a good dollop of that. Give it a little spread around. There we go. Now I love salad cream with cheese. I think it's a really great combination. So, we add our cheese. There we go, again, sliced mature cheddar. And I have some slices of a pickled beetroot here. Now this is the, the stuff you get in the packets at the supermarket in the chilled aisle, not the stuff you'll find in a jar. That's just too vinegary, too wet, doesn't hold up very well in this situation. So there we are, cheese, beetroot, and salad cream. The third sandwich, now this is a bit of a controversial one perhaps. If you go to a supermarket and get a cheese sandwich, you'll often find it's a grated cheese and it's mixed with something like onion or whatever. I quite like the way they do that. They mix it with mayonnaise, it adds a creaminess to the whole thing. But I'm not a fan of raw onion. What I prefer in that situation is this. So I don't know if you can see here, we have a mixture. I've grated some cheese, exactly the same cheese that is used in the other sandwiches. Mixed it with some mayonnaise. And instead of onion in there, I've used celery. Now I know celery is <laughs> a bit like Marmite for a lot of people. You either love it or hate it. Personally, I love it. And I think here, it works really well with the cheese. So we're going to dollop that on there. Be fairly generous with the filling. There we go. Look at that. I think that looks pretty appealing, don't you? So now all I need to do, close these sandwiches up. We'll take them into the dining room and we'll get on and eat them.
located to the dining room and I have my sandwiches in front of me. Let's get on and give them a try. So the first one we're gonna go with is the cheddar cheese plowmans. If you take a closer look at this, you can see that lovely thick sliced cheddar cheese, a layer of pickle there and the lovely fresh salad on the top. I think this is gonna be absolutely delicious. So let's give it a go. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, that's good. So what I really like about this particular sandwich, the flavour of the cheese still really comes through. It's a mature cheddar because it's sliced quite thick. You're not losing it behind anything else. The pickle alongside it really, really stands out too. It's kind of got a sweetness but a vinegariness about it too. Um, and the freshness of the salad just adds a sort of crunch, a texture, a juiciness. Yeah, I really, really enjoy that. I think with the brown bread too, it kind of feels healthy. I know cheese isn't really good for you, but all round, I think that feels like a really healthy sandwich. Let's move on to the second sandwich. This is going to be the cheese, beetroot and salad cream. So you've got to be a little bit careful when you eat this one, because if the beetroot falls out on the tablecloth, there'll be problems in Green O Towers, that's for sure. So take a look at this one, another close look there. So we've got the, again, the lovely thick layer of cheese there, the wholemeal bread, that beetroot. Let's go and give it a go. Mmm. That's tasty. The kind of earthiness and the very, very light pickle on the beetroot really complement the cheese. The, the salad cream gives that little bit of sweet, sharp, vinegary taste as well that perhaps you're missing because the, the beetroot isn't particularly pick, well pickled. But there's an earthiness to that beetroot that goes very nicely with the wholemeal bread. Mm. And you definitely don't lose any of the cheese in there either. Mmm. That's a tasty sandwich. Good job, Grandad. Mmm. Okay. Let's move on to sandwich number three. This is the one <laughs> that some of you are going to say is terrible. Others of you are going to say is genius. This is the cheese and celery. Here we go. You can see there, really well filled. Grated cheese. Like I said before, exactly the same cheese I've used in the other sandwiches. Some very finely sliced up celery and a good dollop of mayonnaise to act as that sort of binding agent on there. So let's give this a try. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. That's good. That's really good. Again, because it's a mature cheddar, you're not losing any of the cheese in the sandwich at all. And it really, really comes through with a bit of a punch. But the mayonnaise there kind of calms it down a little bit, takes some of the rough edges off, adds a real nice creaminess to it. You could probably substitute in something like a cream cheese, a Philadelphia, or go with sort of part mayo, part primula even. That would sort of crank up the cheesiness again, I guess. But with the celery in there too, it adds a beautiful freshness and a real crisp, crunchy texture. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you guys, if you like celery, you really need to try that one at home. It is an absolute beaut. Right, I need a minute to think about how I'm gonna rate these sandwiches, and I'll come back to you with the way it works from third place to first. Right then folks, I've made my decision. I've had another couple of bites of each sandwich to help me in that decision. Be rude not to really, wouldn't it? So I think in third place, I'm going to put the cheese and beetroot with salad cream sandwich. It's really tasty. Like I say, the earthiness of the beetroot works really nicely with the cheese. The salad cream adds a little bit of sharpness to it. But it's just missing a little something, a little texture or something. The crunch of the other two sandwiches, I think, with the, with the fresh salad in there. 
put them up a little bit of a notch. So for me, a great sandwich, probably a seven out of 10, is gonna be the beetroot and cheese. So what's gonna be in second place? I think probably the cheddar cheese plowmans. I really, really enjoyed that sandwich and I think it's a good sandwich for any time of year. The pickle in there lends itself to autumn and winter. The salad to spring and summer. Overall, it is a great classic combination. You really can't go wrong with a cheese and pickle sandwich with a bit of salad in there. Bowl of tomato soup or something alongside it. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Really enjoyed it, but it's in second place for me today. So that means we have a winner. It is the cheese and celery sandwich. Now, like I say, put down in the comment section below whether you think that is a wise or a very unwise decision. I know a lot of you will have thoughts on this for sure. I think it was a great combination. The mayo in there lend the creaminess to the whole sandwich. Absolutely delicious. The celery, great flavour, great texture, lovely crunch. Overall, it's a complete taste sensation. Had to be number one for me. Cheese and celery. So there we go. That's it from me today. I've ranked the three cheese sandwiches that I made. I think I made the right decision. If you disagree, don't forget to drop a little note in the comment section below with what you think should have been the winner. Or if you think I've missed something that would have definitely been in your top three. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please drop a like on there for me. Of course, it will help me get seen by more people. And like I say, any comments you've got, let me know in the little section below. And if you're new around here, which I guess all of you are, because this is the first video on the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ding your little bell for notifications so you won't miss any more of the content coming up in the future. So it just remains for me to thank you for watching, and I will see you soon for another video here on Greeno Eats. Bye for now.